I know there are a lot of creators that are fans of the channel that come on and watch videos. We talk about how the, the industry is really changing, and we see that kind of all, all around entertainment. YouTube has really been a, a big change as far as entertainment. And one of the things that YouTube has done is they've gone out there and incentivized creators that if you stay on our platform and you, and you just make videos for us, we'll bring you in here, we'll, we'll share the revenues with you and stuff like that to keep people around. And I think a lot of other platforms are discovering that creators – that like to create a lot of content, bring people back to the platforms. One of those is Facebook, and here talking to me about that is a good friend of Gervais Dargan and Animated Concepts. We got Marcel. How you doing, Marcel? Hey, Wes. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So Gervain calls you Marcel the loser, but I don't think that's your last name, right? That's not my last name. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, I got a nine to five, so it, it seems like it's a good idea sometimes to have like a pen name of sorts. But I, I like Marcel the loser. It was like a um, it's sort of like some Fight Club trivia. So I got it from um, Tyler Durden when he's like, a, he's I think he's like a waiter or something. Some dude mm -hmm. just out the trash, something like that. He gets him, he gets him like on the ground and he like gets his ID and all this stuff. And he's like, what do you want to be when you grow up and this whole thing? And and, we're no, and afterwards, it's like, why did you do all that? And Tyler says to him, uh, it's only after we've lost everything that we're free to become anything. So that's, that's the symbolism behind it, you know, that it's like kind of like, you know, you're, you're already at rock bottom, so there's nowhere to go but up, you know, just just try. Just give it a try. Just don't worry about how well you do, you know. I am also an enormous fan of the Fight Club, but we're here to talk about how creators can make some money. And this isn't just, you know, comic book creators. You, you, know, you can be a, a, a cartoonist. You can be a musician. You could be someone that makes cartoons, videos, all that kind of stuff. And Facebook would like you to come on to their channel, create a page, basically generate subscribers. And that's how you can generate some revenues. You have been a cartoonist for 23 years. Yeah, so I've been writing, drawing, and selling my own comics since I was seven years old. I got inspired by the Captain Underpants book of them <laughs> making comics, like drawing their comics, Captain Underpants comics, and selling the kids on the playground. Uh, I, I wasn't as slick as selling it on the playground. Uh, I did it more so in the middle of class, which kind of became a problem in middle school. But uh, yeah, I've been doing it for 23 years, and I've seen, I definitely have seen the peaks and valleys of the different ways of trying to make it as an independent comic creator. Absolutely. Once you're a content creator of all types, you're always wanting to monetize your work. You want to get a little coin for all the work that you're putting in there because it does take a long time to make a YouTube channel. It takes a long time to draw a comic book. And Facebook is realizing that they're becoming less relevant in the age of social media because it's kind of just a place that you go and you interact with your family. Maybe you see a meme here or there. Uh, maybe you send a photo of the kids or whatever, but you go to Instagram if you want to go see cool new art because there's a lot of creators there. Maybe you go to video uh, YouTube if you want to see new cartoons, maybe creators uh, doing things on there, even musicians. And Facebook realizes they need access to creators that are on their platform creating original materials essentially on a daily basis. And they've created this Facebook bonus program. This is the information that I was able to glean, though it's, it can be different depending on what you're doing. It said, to help creators grow their subscription businesses, Facebook will pay creators a bonus of 5 to $20 for every new subscriber they get from now until the end of 2021. This new bonus program is part of the company's commitment to invest over $1 billion in creators through 2022. Creators can earn a bonus of up to $10,000 over the course of the program. It's an invite only in all 27 markets. And when it says markets, it's talking about the countries that you are in not the types of uh, content you're creating. And it says where the subscription feature is available. So you do need to find out if this program is available in your country. And you said with what with the uh, the program that you're doing, it's even bigger than 10,000 potentially a month. You can get up to 30,000 depending on your subscriber count. Right. So I think uh, I think it matters because I've, you know, out of all the research, it's it's a very early develop, you know, very early sort of beta testing program to where it's not all that much. A lot of information around it sort of like versus like how YouTube now you can look at any number of YouTube, any number of YouTube videos, any number of articles to know what kind of metrics you have to hit and what, you know, the different CPMs are out there and all that kind of stuff. You know, but for Facebook, it's a little more kind of cloak and dagger, I guess you could say, just kind of like a figure it out as you go. So from what I've been able to research, it's been there's a lot of stuff out there about Facebook Reels bonus. 
that's the more popular uh, bonus out right now, just because, you know, of TikTok and all of that relevancy and uh, Instagram as well, I guess. So there's a lot of information about that. And from what I've um, seen with them, they have different tiers, uh, depending on how big a creator you are. Some people top out at 500 a month. Some people top out at 1,000 a month. Some people top out at 10,000 a month. And, you know, for the bonus I'm in, I'm able to top out at 30,000 a month. Uh, so I guess that's just because I only have about 13,000 followers on my page. I'm still able to make some pretty good money just with 13,000 followers because you're not necessarily restricted to your followers who see your content. Facebook is getting a lot better about just uh, creating a feed of content for people who just, you know, who may be interested in the kind of content you're creating. So I get a lot of, uh, a lot of impressions on people who aren't even following my page, but still, you know, my base limit of, you know, followers, uh, is only around 13,000. So, uh, if I was to have 25,000, 50,000, a hundred thousand followers, or, you know, some people out there, some artists have a million followers. If I had that, hitting that $30,000 mark would probably come a lot easier, definitely. So, yeah, it's definitely possible, I think. That is a big change for Facebook because back in the day, I've always been told that Facebook isn't one of the places that you really want to do a lot of advertising because even if you promote your stuff on your, your home page, you, know, you, you expect the people that follow, you know, your friends and family to see it, they won't see it. A very limited amount will actually see what you put on Facebook that you had to pay to play essentially for people to even see uh, your posts on Facebook a lot of the times. So mm -hmm. it sounds like they're kind of changing the algorithm, opening up a bit because they want people to come in here and experience what Facebook is all about and see things that get them excited. Go to this uh, person's page, subscribe, and start looking at all the wonderful things that they're creating, whether it be comic books like yourself or maybe uh, independent musicians and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's all, it's all about the content nowadays, Wes. Like, um, I think I think what really put them on the heels was when TikTok showed up and they started getting even more marginalized in the, the creator space than they already were. And they were seeing that it's like the attention is where the creators are. And it's like, where are the creators? Like, uh, like there's someone on YouTube who did, like, talking about Facebook Reels, and they said that someone from Facebook reached out to them a while ago. And they were doing research, like, you know, some little quote unquote, you know, polls, field studies, just asking creators, what is it that you're looking for in a platform? And like she she told them straight up, hey, I'm at where the money is at. Like if you if your creators are getting paid, they're going to be there creating content and the where there's content, the users will follow when the users follow your platform, you know, it blooms as well. So, so I do want to ask you, you know, we do have a lot of creators out there, whether it be comic books, maybe they're just artists, stuff like that. I know there's a guy, uh, Cal Lyle, he loves to put out his fan art and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It says it's invite only. You're in the program. How hard was it get to get the invite? Uh, not really hard. It was, um, so it started off like about, I think the first time was in uh, March. I think the first one was in March. I was just on Facebook and uh, like uh, I got like a notification saying, hey, you qualify for the um, view bonus. And I'm like, uh, I was like, OK. And I do it. I went to like the one the one little help page they had about the view bonus at that time. And it was like, oh, well, you can get paid for people, you know, engaging with their content, like for clicking on it or liking it, sharing it, commenting on it. And I was like, that sounds awesome. Like, because the whole thing has always been that people, you can't get paid for clicks. You know, you can't get paid for likes. Likes don't pay the bills. And I'm like, if this pays, the, if likes start, you know, translating the money, like that's a complete game changer, you know, for any kind of content creator, as you've been saying. So I got it. I got in on it. I just signed up, did the little sign up they did, put in your name, some, you know, some payment information. Right. And then uh, nothing happened the first month. Uh, I, it was like you go and check your earnings and it said zero the entire time. I was like, all right. So what was that about? Uh, it got my hopes up for nothing. But then the next month it said, OK, you qualify for the performance bonus. So I think basically they tweaked it. And they were like, okay, it's the same thing as the view bonus, but now we're calling it performance bonus. And I got in it, and it was just like, uh, so I was like, okay, I went through the sign up again. And this time for the sign up, 
they have you go to a page now. Uh, and I checked this by, um, when I was like telling Jermaine of animated concepts about it. Take you to a sign up page now for their bonus programs where you basically say, which bonuses are you interested in? You know, and which page do you want to sign up for them? And then it's like, OK, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll get back to you. And for me, it, it happened like I think after about two days, like about 48 hours and they got back to me. And like I said, I think it's just because they're just trying to test things out. So they were mm-hmm. really taken in whoever, you know, because as a content creator. Well, they were looking at your metrics and they saw that people were going to your page. And they right. wanted you to keep creating to keep more people coming to your page. Yes. Yeah, because it's like as a as a creator, thirteen thousand followers like across the internet isn't a lot. You know, I didn't really think I would qualify because I didn't think that was that much. But I was getting a pretty good engagement with my comic mm-hmm. content. And and what they can do when they have you know if you got even if it's five thousand of your subscribers are engaged people, they get it get to uh, promote. To those five thousand people, other things that they think that'll like that'll keep them on Facebook, right? They can keep doing the advertisements. That is exactly what they're doing. So a lot of people want to do like a deviant art page. Um, you know, Webtoon is a very popular one. Maybe you go and do a Webtoon strip that's free or whatnot. And obviously, Facebook is saying you need to come here. I believe you were doing Webtoons and whatnot. Did you stop doing all the stuff you're doing on the side, or did you just also repurpose it onto Facebook to to get more content there? Uh, I have been stopped on Webtoon. Webtoon is a uh, slick slave labor. That's why they came out with that old <laughs> ad campaign they did a little while ago. Talk about it's a fun side hustle. Like <laughs> that's, that's all they paying. Like you, even if if you get a million views on a video, Wes, like you you're gonna get paid, right? You're gonna get paid something. This is less than you would think, but yes, you will get paid. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, it's 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 not as much as you would think. Still, you know, it depends on your CPM, all that crap. Mm-hmm. But you know, you're gonna get like at least over a thousand dollars on yeah. web. You get a million views on your comic, not a video, a comic, and you know it tops out at a thousand dollars. That means if you got two million views somehow, you still only get a thousand dollars. I'm like, okay, webtoons slick hustling backwards. So it's like there has to be a better way. I, st- I, I was like researching different ways. I found out YouTube, people put manhwa videos on YouTube, like slow scroll videos. Mm-hmm. With- and I've been trying to get into that. And then I just happened to wind up finding out about the Facebook thing. So I just, so then that's when I just got into that while still trying to do the YouTube thing because, you know, you it's YouTube. It's never a bad idea to not invest in a YouTube page. So. Yeah, YouTube's got to be like the social media platform that's used by more people. Mm-hmm. Like it seems you know it's it's very active, uh, engaged user base. So I definitely uh, appreciate what YouTube's done to me. Although you know I do have uh, some gripes here and there, but for the most part, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And you're happy with what they've done in Facebook. You you felt that very, it's been pretty fair. It's um uh, it's given me a fresh fresh look on my entire you know what's possible because you know and. I've, I've tried to put talk to other people about this bonus program, like going to comic book Facebook groups and tell other people about it, like this opportunity, because it's a great, wonderful opportunity. Like everyone's like, like calling BS on it. Like there's no way this is real. This sounds like you got real money, though. It's not funny, buddy, right? Uh, no, no, no. I got the deposits. I can show you. <laughs> you want to see it. I, I made um my highest earning month. I just hit like a uh, six hundred and like six hundred sixty dollars, just about, and I'm, I'm uh. I'm gonna beat that this month. So um, no, I got I got the the bank statements to prove it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's been great, and it's made me feel like it's actually possible now. To if I want to just if all these story ideas I have, it's not like oh, it's gonna take like a couple of years to get that out. It's like no, I with this extra money I'm making now and an actual audience, because you know as a creator, you definitely just want an audience. You know, people who are engaged with your content. So it's like you're getting people who are engaged with your content and you're getting paid for it. It's like, yeah, I can I can make all I can do all kinds of things now. You know, it doesn't have when they give you some money. It definitely uh, incentivizes you to keep creating, maybe do a little extra that week that week. You know? Yeah. And I, I definitely have been. It's, it's yeah. been a lot trying to find that balance because it's like, yeah, you want the you want the rewards, but it's it's, it's stretching thin. It can stretch you thin. Absolutely. So if people are interested in your comic books, you have a, the Facebook. What should they be searching? They want to see your your um, your Facebook comic books and maybe subscribe to your to your page. 
Well, I would always used to tell people, um, like, because the name of my company, uh, my brand is Marcel Comics. Now, if you were to Google Marcel Comics, it would come up Marvel Comics. Exactly. So, like, Google will will just override that and be like, we're showing results for Marvel Comics. Like, do you really want to search for Marcel Comics? Is that how you want to live your life? You know? But it's like, so what I, I basically just turned that into my thing. So my, my link now for my Facebook page is facebook.com slash did you mean Marvel Comics? And I just <laughs> I just linked into that with the, the branding. Like I, I changed the, the B to a C and all of the Marvel Comics logos. Just having fun with it, you know, until I always said until the day where they Google put some respect on my name, I'm just going to keep leaning into it. <laughs> After calling my channel uh, Thinking Critical, which is just supposed to be a play on names, I found out very quickly, I was like, that was a terrible idea because it, it just brings up critical thinking videos. <laughs> Until I got you know somewhat big enough and it searched enough. But uh, it took a while to get out of that hell to where you could actually search for the for me by the name of the channel. I should have called it Thinking Cynical, but you know, can't go back and do over. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> So I do want to say thank you very much to, for coming on and shedding some light on this program, how people can go out there and make a little bit extra money. I imagine it's like a YouTube channel. When you start out, you're not going to make anybody. Right. You know, you're not going to have the subscribers to do it. They're not going to invite you until you get enough people. But you're saying in the end, if you go on to Facebook, you go and create, you build up your subscriber base, and there is, uh, you know, there's some money and things that can be earned as you grow up your, your, uh, your platform in the end. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, definitely. I, I was on Facebook. I've had that page since like 2012, 13, 14, somewhere around there. And, it, you know, for a while, it just seemed like a, a little bit of a waste of time. And But I, I, and I suck in a lot of money like on ads. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to pay for ads, you know. But it's like, hey, I, I paid for those ads. I built that fan base, which is still very easy to do on Facebook, you know, to anyone watching this, don't feel like, you know, oh, I got to pay $5 just to get, you know, one fan. It's like, no, you can still, you put out the right ad copy and all that stuff, you know, and you can still get a lot of followers very fast with your, um, with small ad campaigns. So, but you just, yeah, you put in the work and you can eventually get to a point where you're reaping the benefits.